I believe we are now going to go to Jonathan Cooper because Jonathan, you were just here in Tulsa County at a meeting of the emergency managers uh, talking about a big dam release coming up at Keystone Dam, right? Dave, that's right. Officials here are closely monitoring the situation, and they just announced a few minutes ago here that the Army Corps of Engineers will release 250,000 cubic feet of water per second. They plan on doing that until Sunday and then gradually decrease that number as the water levels recede. But right now, they do not anticipate that number to go higher. So that's maybe some good news from this, but they're going to have to watch the weather and see if the waters continue to rise. But they plan on uh, not they do not anticipate that number to go higher as well but because of all of this that means several neighborhoods and homes are at risk for flooding parts of sand springs in west tulsa county are expected to see the first impacts in a couple of hours because they are raising uh, that number up central tulsa will feel the impacts in between four to six hours south tulsa county along the river in eight to ten hours tulsa police and the tulsa county sheriff's office have already been going to areas anticipated to be impacted and they have encouraged those people to leave because of this the red cross has also set up three different shelters as well to help those people being evacuated i spoke one-on-one -on -one with david williams from the army corps of engineers after this press conference he says so far the keystone dam and the levee system that they have in place is performing like it was designed to understand that a dam like keystone it is designed to mitigate downstream flood risk but it doesn't eliminate downstream flood risk so um, at this point we are trying to minimize the releases Now, another important note, they're going to be uh, putting out the flood sirens at 3 o'clock today. They're going to be doing that every 30 minutes along the river, and that will give people along, along the river a heads up if they haven't heard so, so far, that some of those people need to evacuate. So they're going to do that every 30 minutes and, uh, and put on those flood sirens uh, starting at 3 p.m. And another takeaway before I leave you, the mayor was here and was talking, and he said, quote, they're providing radical transparency with all of this. He says they want people just to be aware of what What's going on not to worry but to be prepared and to take this seriously because uh, they are providing maps and they are providing updates so that is some good news and we're gonna have more updates on this coming up tonight at 5 and 6 and of course all day long here on News on 6 but for now we're putting live in downtown Tulsa Jonathan Cooper Oklahoma's own News on 6 thank you Jonathan thank you Jonathan and you can uh Call 211 here in Tulsa County for more information on that if you're if you're worried about your evacuation process.